Well, yeah. how are you getting on? Welcome to Ulaanbaatar, the capital of Mongolia. We arrived here at 6.50 a.m. this morning, very, very early, early from Ulaanude uh, in Russia, and we were greeted by Anna. He picked us up. We're staying in his brand new hostel, but we're just walking the streets today, exploring Ulaanbaatar, which, by the way, we just learned how to pronounce correctly because... Yes. <laughs> say it, Ulaanbaatar. Ulaanbaatar. There you go. I thought it was Ulaanbaatar, <laughs> but no, it's Ulaanbaatar. <laughs> kind of like getting a batter burger in Dublin. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Let's go. Batter burger. We're walking into the city centre because according to Anna, the traffic is very bad. And I mean, we're moving faster than all the traffic that's <laughs> yes, going yes. in. <laughs> Maybe after 200 meters, they will uh, stop again for yeah, the yeah. traffic light. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're faster than cars. The population of the entire country of Mongolia is about 3.4 million. And like, just look at the size of the country in the map. It's absolutely huge. huge. And of that 3.4, about 1.345 million, according to Anna, live here in Ulaanbaatar. And in the surrounding area, if you include that, up almost close to 2 million. So it's just like, there's a lot of land. Empty space. There's a lot of empty space. It's crazy. A very first uh, residential blocks in, in the city, built beginning of the 50s. We're walking right towards a Beatles monument. Why is there a Beatles monument? Because we have some guys, uh, Beatles uh, fan club. They uh, first uh, want to build a memorial. For the Beatles? Yeah, for the Beatles. There they are. Yes. Mongolia. But they never been in Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> he was Mongolian first prime minister after Mongolian National Revolution won 1921. What's his name? Ah, <laughs> Tirin Dorch. Tirin Dorch. Yeah? Tirin. Tirin Dorch. Tirin Dorch. Tirin Dorch. Tirin Dorch. Tirin Dorch. Tirin Dorch. Yes. There you go. Tirin Dorch. It's Mongolian first Irish pub. <laughs> Let's go inside check. Is it really Irish or no? Yeah. <laughs> That's the Irish, yeah. This is the registration place we have in Dublin. Mayor of Dublin. No, you're not getting any Irish in here. Mm. But do you want to know something interesting? The most northern part of Ireland here. Yes. This is the Republic of Ireland. This is part of the, this. Are, this is this was part of here. Yeah, yeah. South. Uh, this is South Ireland, but it's the most north in Ireland. Yes. We've just come out of the Irish pub now, and I think it was very good effort. Pretty, good effort. It's nice. It's, no, it's really good Irish pub, but they don't have Guinness. Yeah. So <laughs> that's a deal breaker. No, I was. Test. I wanted to ask for three Guinness, try a Mongolian Guinness, you know, but. They don't have Guinness, so we've come outside empty-handed. <laughs> so it defeats purpose. Did they have Jemison? I didn't see it. We saw Jack Daniels though, yeah. so uh. it's very first Mongolian modern school the building. First school in Mongolia. Yes, modern yes. Modern. The pink building directly behind me is the National Concert Hall of Ulaanbaatar. Pretty interesting. And look at this guy chilling up on a seat. Not a bad life. Sukhbatr. Sukhbatr means a, like... Suk means like a ex. Batter means like a hero. Ex-hero. Ah, okay. Revolutionary leader. Yes, but it's uh, more likely in a Soviet style revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Gotcha. Okay. Cool. So now we're going up onto this building that's ahead of us. Apparently there's a nice view at the top. So we've, we've hit the jackpot really with where we're staying and, and meeting Anna. Talk 
talk about looking out of place right now. We're in this extremely fancy restaurant, shorts and a t-shirt. My green uh, t-shirt got me more creased as well. <laughs> like. Four waiters over there all waiting for people to come in dressed very eloquently. I don't know, I don't know how you pulled it off. It's one going number one restaurants. Mongolian's number one restaurant and here we are in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt with a hat, glasses and a backpack. <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, no helmet. <laughs> they start them off young in Mongolia, hey? Look at that. Hairstyle on the young lad. It's quite a nice, long, narrow park that runs right along the middle of the road here, but Okay, just when I start filming, we're turning off, crossing the road. People barely let you cross here. And apparently we're going to some museum now where there's dinosaur skeletons. I don't think I've ever seen real dinosaur bones before, but uh, we're going. We just came out of the Dinosaur Museum, which was, it was cool, very small, but cool to see bones for the first time, of authentic dinosaur bones, but you weren't allowed to film in there unless you paid, but got a few slice shots as you can see, <laughs> and now Ono is bringing us for some simple but traditional Mongolian food. Yes. Yeah. We learned a few words in Mongolian already. Uh, Sona, hello. Actually, it's pronounced Sano. <laughs> Baista, goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> and uh, Baichla, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bia, Bia, Bia. Bia. Um, I'm Irish. <laughs> Bayakhla. And that one piece to soup. So this is this raisin in here, is it? Yeah. Cheers. Really nice. <laughs> the juice of raisins. What is the name? Tuvan. 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 Looks good. I'm stuck. <laughs> you know it's good when Robbie's cleaning his place. <laughs> It's always those small little local restaurants that have the most delicious yeah, food. That was a feed. Oh, oh no, thank you for that. One of the nicest things I've tried in a long time. <laughs> we love Mongolia. <laughs> Bye, Akhla. Bye, Akhla. Bye, Akhla. We're going to the Mongolian main temple, Buddha temples. Cool. One of the oldest Buddha temples. It's gonna cleanse me of yeah. my sins. <laughs> oh, cleanse me, oh Lord. Reborn in Mongolia. <laughs> it's written Tibetan language. Oh, Tibetan? Yes. Okay. I don't understand, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, for the fray. Oh, it's not for, you know, lie. Take the t-shirt off. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's for the frame. If you are really heavy believers, they just pray. Knee down, pray. Why do you spin? Wish you good travel good in luck? China. Yes. Wish me good travel to China, okay. That's from Mongolia. Yeah, good ride for the and horse. You know, <laughs> maybe for North Korea, we said, can you do one yes, for North Korea? Yes, I think yes. that's the most important. Yeah. So it's for North Korea, good luck. Good journey for the North Korea. <laughs> Be careful from Kim Jong-un. He's very dangerous man. <laughs> Tá, pô. 
Buddha's temple was incredible. I've never seen a statue that large in a building before, I don't think. But the statue wasn't Buddha, right? You said it was... <laughs> no, not Buddha. It's the uh, last king of Mongolia was uh, last bad, bad eyesight. Mm -hmm. So he asked the uh, God to hurt his uh, eye, get okay. him better. Oh, someone to heal his blindness. The God of eyesight. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Eye. So it's the God of eyesight or the God of eyes. Or What is your wife making? She's making a hushu. We've seen this lunch time, the guys eating the round one, the same. So we've been back chilling in the house for the last while and Robbie and I went up for a nap and three hours passed and we woke up again. <laughs> That's what happens when you get off the train at 6.50 in the morning, isn't it Rob? Yeah, so I'm just having a ginger flavoured tea, delicious. Yeah, because Robbie's actually not feeling 100%, which isn't good because we're looking at going on a horse trek tomorrow for three full days with two nights. So two nights with um, the nomad people. We stay in the nomad family's tents and stuff, so we're looking into that, but Robbie's not feeling great, so he's just gonna have to get on with it. But um, we're waiting for dinner right now. It's being prepared by Ona's wife, and it looks amazing, it looks delicious. Ooh. These are so good, and this is like my sixth one, and they put a bit of hot sauce on it. <laughs> Why not? There's like beef and onions inside them and they are delicious and homemade. We saw her make them with their bare hands, like they're amazing. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> and this is your daughter. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> She's very shy. Very shy. And nervous. Don't be nervous, we don't bite. <laughs> it's cow meat vodka. Cow milk vodka, okay, yes. to help us sleep well. Yes. Apparently. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, my God. 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 It tastes like stale milk. But oh, my God. <laughs> You're crazy in Mongolia, man. <laughs> Butterburger. 